personality and politics, two factors which have played such a crucial role in this whole campaign for both candidates, given that they are poles apart in both uh, personality and politics. But I'm wondering which one is more important when it comes to voters, ordinary French citizens going to the polls today and casting their ballot. Which one, which one is the overriding factor? Well, I think this is what we're going to see today, and there's many factors at stake. It's a rainy day here in Paris. It's a gusty day. Is this going to prevent people from coming out to the polls? We have two very different people, as you said. We've got Marine Le Pen, who has promised in many ways to restore the national identity of France, which in her world means uh, ridding the country of immigrants, of dual nationals, um, of, uh, of coming out of the EU in what would be called the Frexit, in a kind of um, redo of the British Brexit. On the other hand, we have Emmanuel Macron, 39 years old, young, fresh, a former banker who has clear ideas, a liberal. Um, so the two of these are basically um, polarizing the country. In, in a very distinct way. This is a historic election. It's the first time since the 1950s that the two main French parties have been knocked out completely, and the challengers mm. are two basically independents that came out of not from the traditional political background. And Marine Le Pen has very much pitted herself as the protector of France, given the fact that France has such uh, a recent history, unfortunately, with terrorism. How important is that as a selling point for the French public to say that, elect me and I will protect you from further attack? Absolutely. And remember, this is the first election that has ever taken place during a state of emergency. We have been under a state of emergency since the terrorist attacks, which have left more than 250 people dead since 2015. So France is in a very, very vulnerable state, and Marine Le Pen has played into that in a very big way, playing on people's fears, playing on the globalization that she sees as a demonic force that has basically turned the Frenchness of France into a more global commodity. She doesn't want that. So she plays to people that basically want to see jobs restored, want to see France taken back to a time of great glory. Um, this is not very different from what Donald Trump did or what Putin does in Russia. Indeed, these are the people she aligns herself with and they with her. Trump has made no, um, no secret that, that Le Pen would be his choice. Interesting that you mentioned the United States there. We do have this alleged uh, email hacking situation in France now on the uh, Macron campaign yes. team, similarly to what we saw with the DNC in the United States over their presidential campaign. Um, how much of a role, I know that we're restricted in terms of what we can actually report about this uh, because this election is very much live and happening right now, but, but how much of a factor do you think this alleged hack might be when it comes to how people cast their vote? Well, what's interesting is if you were not following the elections with a fine-tooth comb, as, as we journalists or political analysts are, you probably wouldn't know. Because the mainstream French papers, uh, Le Monde and Liberation, did do a Q&A about it. But absolutely, the contents, which we believe might be personal and financial, we don't know. Um, have not been revealed. And if you were just watching the main French channels, if you were just an average citizen who wanted to find out what was going on, you probably would know very little, if, if not nothing, about it. So the French Electoral Commission basically said they did not want this in any way to tamper with what would, would be the results. So when it was announced late Friday night, um, those of us who, who got on the internet and began trolling it to see what we could find, very, very little. We, know, we don't know a lot yet. Um, but clearly, there is one thing that I've always believed since the beginning of this election. There are two countries that have a huge interest in what happens in France, the United States and Russia. It is very important, the results here, not just what's going to happen today, not just who will get in, but the long term. Marine Le Pen is not doing a short-term strategy. She's looking at the elections in 2020. Her niece, Marion uh, Le Pen, who's a very strong contender for the next elections down the road, has been really coming out clearly in this election. I think that we need to look long-term at the future of Europe, mm -hmm. at what happens today and the impact it will have. And of course, there is an argument, I suppose, that, that Emmanuel Macron could benefit from this, this alleged hack as well. That uh, people might see him as a victim and somehow feel sorry for Absolutely. him. Absolutely. I suppose that is one argument as well. Janine Di Giovanni, many thanks for joining us uh, from Paris. Thank you. Thank you.